We've all heard of the advancements in AI, with virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa becoming household names and ChatGPT making headlines. But what about robotics? While it's true that AI has made impressive progress in recent years, it's easy to overlook the fact that robotics is a complex and multifaceted field that has made significant progress of its own. So, is robotics falling behind AI? Or is it simply overshadowed by the hype surrounding artificial intelligence? Let's take a closer look. Twenty twenty two saw vast developments in the space of AI software, but future hardware has hit roadblocks. Tesla's full self driving controversy, Boston Dynamics going quiet, and many humanoid robots still shuffling around like zombies. The meteoric rise of artificial intelligence has made robotics look slow in comparison. But saying that the field has stagnated would be silly. Robotics had humble beginnings, with the first animatronics being created in nineteen sixty four by the first robotics company. Disney. The Walt Disney Corporation quickly became experts in the field of bridging the uncanny valley. This is a concept in robotics and animation in which robots tend to look unnerving and vaguely corpse like. Disney actually lost more than a hundred million dollars in the notorious box office flop Mars Needs Moms. The nearly realistic animation left moviegoers creeped out. And it's why a majority now choose a mostly inanimate or alien form. No company wants to release a groundbreaking and expensive new robot if consumers are going to be completely creeped out by it. This is just one of the aspects in which robotics has become a hesitant industry, with films like The Terminator. I need your clothes. <laughs> doing little to improve public appeal. Most of these companies are quite conservative in nature. Think Toyota, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, and Kawasaki. This tentative approach has also caused a balkanized and specialized industry in which no one controls a majority of the market. Applications like car manufacturing or military use aren't particularly flashy, and that's left the general public feeling left out of all of the most recent robotic developments. Now, enter Tesla, run by the notoriously headstrong Elon Musk. Recently, he unveiled and began testing his new robot, Optimus. The idea here is to create a general purpose robot, one that we might see in regular workplaces. Notice how it doesn't have a face or any real humanoid features, textbook avoidance of the uncanny valley. But what gives? It's still moving and acting like robots of 20 years ago. Yet 20 years ago, our chatbots couldn't hold a conversation. Now, ChatGPT is helping us write this very video. It turns out that the things we make look easy, like moving around, driving, using stairs, are all incredibly complex from a mathematics standpoint, one in which Tesla's full self-driving is now trapped. A Model S has the same GPU as a PS5. With AI, I can run a thousand tests through cloud computing and create better and better iterations for an application. But with robotics, we're stuck testing in the real world, with real world consequences. Over 200 crashes have now been linked to Tesla's autopilot, a bumpy start to be sure. Robotics is also a blend of several different complex fields, material science, electrical engineering, and you still have to have an AI for the brains of the whole thing. This is a huge, old, and multifaceted industry which has actually developed quite quickly in comparison to hardware of the past. It took nearly 20 years for Ford to get from the Model T to the Model A. Really, if robotics is falling behind, it's more due to the astounding growth in our software capabilities rather than some shortcoming on robotics' part. There's actually a huge amount of robots in the world that have been silently taking over. Lawnmowers, vacuums, airplanes, assembly lines, and Spot. Spot's capabilities are so impressive that it often leaves people feeling strong empathy for its plight, just like a regular dog. It's even being used on oil rigs, caving, practical applications that, though niche in nature, are still impactful. And now, with companies shedding off huge proportions of their workforce and labor prices being at an all-time high, it does seem like 2023 will be the year where several high-profile robots make their debut. Already, companies are beginning to roll out the first generation of true general-purpose robotics. 
three humanoid robots are already on their feet, and you'll notice that the companies that own them are car companies. This is key. The car at its inception was a niche product that people couldn't find a use for, but through mass production and assembly lines, the masses were able to enjoy the comforts of a car-centric society. This year, the giants of Ford, Hyundai, and Tesla are beginning to build the first pushes of real momentum into the industry. With their experience in motors, sensors, mass production, and consumer marketing, it's not unrealistic that you might see some robots soon doing jobs you might not expect. Like this. Ford's robot delivering packages. Some in the field predict that robotics is going to be bigger than the car was. There's huge money lining up as we speak to push these projects onto the main stage. Just as artificial intelligence made its consumer debut in 2022, this year might be the year of artificial labor. What can we expect from the future of robotics? Well, we know one thing for certain, the field will continue to evolve and surprise us. As we move forward, it's important to stay informed and engaged with the latest developments on the ground. A part of that could be subscribing. We're dedicated to digesting the latest futurism news in a way that you can use in planning for the future. Thanks for watching.